just got Pokemon Black the other day. About time, too. I was tired of hearing all my friends talk about it and rubbing it in my face. I'm gonna kick butt soon after I uh, train them up a bit, though. I just got the sec second badge, too. You know what else is awesome? Liberty Pass. Yep, about time on this thing, too. It took forever to figure out how to get the Wi-Fi working on my DS, but I finally got it working. I don't recall much about the island, where Victini is apparently dormant, but I do remember it being fairly weak, so I have to be careful. I think I can handle it, though. After eating dinner, I quickly ran upstairs to catch my Victini. I booted up my DSi, then quickly skipped past the title screen so I could hurry up to Liberty Pier. The sailor in front of the dock greeted me, then allowed me to pull on board. As the boat drifted off screen, my heart began pounding in anticipation. I was finally going to catch Victini. Until I saw all the Team Plasma members on the island, I groaned, knowing I would have to face every single one of those losers before I could even get my Victini. Well, it'd be worth pummeling them. Plus, I could get some experience with my team from them. I brushed them off quickly, not even having to use any of my other Pokemon besides my D-Watt. His health got, did get pretty low though, in the health range from red almost. Though, so I had, I would be, though I was, wasn't really gonna be anything to be just afraid of, I understood Victini might have done anything less. But anyways, the battle got underway, and Victini just started throwing hits on my team left and right. Most of my Pokemon were pretty battered from Team Plasma. It wants to test your strength. It wants to test my strength. Hmm, I'll show it. I quickly ran up to Victini and pressed A so I can go battle it. I smiled widely as the screen as the screen lit up and I saw Victini's sprite there. Letting out a cheerp as the battle animation played. It wasn't as weak as I thought though. But it was still pretty low level. Fifteen so uh, fifteen or so. I'd have to be extra careful though. Diola was too strong, about like level 28 or so. I quickly sent out my Herdier, which was about level 20. From swapping Victini, from swapping, Victini got the first hit. Victini used Incinerate, the text, oh, text box said. Suddenly, my Herdier was engulfed in flames, which did a whooping amount of damage to my, to my surprise. Luckily, it had been holding an Orenberry so it healed up a bit. I had my Herdier use Takedown, which lowered Vikini's health to a dangerous level. Soon you'll be all mine, I said aloud, grinning as I swapped Herdier out for my Dewat. Then I began throwing Great Balls at it. It took forever and Dewat's health was lowering slowly. When I, when I reached my last Great Ball, I clutched the DS tight. My trainer threw it. It shook once, twice, three times, click. Yes, I cried, almost throwing my DS across the room in sheer happiness as the victory music played. I smiled happily at the screen, clicking yes when the option came to pick a nickname. I typed T I M O T H Y. Timothy, little tiny Tim. After leaving, a, after leaving, a sailor I think came and walked to my trainer. He told me that apparently a long time ago, some people had tried to steal and capture Vikini, but some guy wouldn't allow it. So for its safety, he felt it would be best to isolate Vikini and seal it away. Well, it'll be safe now. It'll be strong traveling with me. Upon leaving the island, I suddenly heard Timothy's cry play in an agitated manner, and a text box appeared on the bottom of the screen. Timothy doesn't like its Pokeball, it read. That was weird, but maybe it's some special thing that 
came with the event. Well, whatever. It was Timothy Sprite. Was Timothy Sprite was suddenly appeared behind me. My trainer and I, with a hap, uh, happy sounding Jareep, now following me around. I didn't really mind it though. I headed back to the Route 3 to train a little. I was almost obsessed with the little fact that Timothy was following me around, and whenever I turned around to talk to him, he dreamed happily and hopped a few times. A message always appeared that said uh, stuff along the lines of, Timothy loves Korea. That gave me a warm fuzzy feeling inside. After a while, I looked over the clock at my nightstand, and I almost flipped when it said 1239. Holy crap, I had been playing that long? I moved to save my game, but then stopped. Suddenly, what would I do about Timothy? He couldn't stay that way, could he? I couldn't just put him back in his Pokeball since he doesn't like it. Then I remembered. The daycare center just above the current town I was in. And I headed off. I entered the building and talked to the old woman. I was given the options to either leave a Pokemon or take one back. So I chose to leave Timothy here. He would be okay until I could play again, I figured. But then Timothy's cry suddenly played out of nowhere, sounding distinctly sad, and I felt kind of bad for it. Even more so when a text box appeared on the bottom of the screen. Timothy doesn't want to leave you, it read. That sucked on my heartstrings, but I didn't want to leave it waiting for me when, it, when the game was off. At least it could play with some other Pokemon while I was gone. I'm sorry baby, it's just a little while, I whispered to my DSi. Desperate, despite knowing it was a stupid thing to do so, it was just a game. He let out the same cry in response, although it was more whiny this time. But he let the daycare lady take him back there. None nonetheless. I smiled glad that he was that he understood. When I exited the building to save outside, Timothy was on the other side of the fence watching me closely. He let out a cry as if I'm trying to as if trying to call me over, but I seriously needed to get some sleep. I saved the game and turned it off. I slept in I slept in the next day, waking up about around 12 in the afternoon. Feeling pretty refreshed, I booted up the Pokemon on Pokemon Black, then clicked continue. When I reached the screen, I smiled, ready to play my game again. And then, I almost screamed at what I saw. The daycare center was gone, completely. In its place, a, a pile of still smoldering ash. Disbelief let my, uh, left my little room in me for fear of what caused this. But I couldn't help but stare at the pile. Then I noticed the daycare man was standing a little bit away. I walked to, up to, and talked to him. The daycare center has been incinerated, he told me, as the text box appeared at the bottom of the screen. All of the Pokemon are gone. That right, that right there made fear jolt through me. I don't know what caused this, but where was Timothy? I suddenly heard a happy cry and saw my little bikini suddenly skipping over to me. I felt relief going through me, and I sighed a little. Timothy took its place behind me as we walked away from the remains of the building, and then I noticed how gladly he seemed to be. I turned around and talked to him, and his cry came out a little, like an assumed giggle almost. Timothy got away from the bad people, the game said. That disturbed me a bit. What bad people? He couldn't have met the daycare people. They were so nice. I talked to him again, hoping maybe to get an answer as to why he felt accomplished by this. Timothy will never leave you again, it read. That sent a chill down my spine and suddenly my mind flashed back to when the game says last night said Timothy doesn't doesn't want to leave you. No, no it couldn't be. I'm just being paranoid. Sweet little Timothy would never do something like this. I tried to f uh, forget it and just continue on with my game. Maybe I could train him a little. Timothy still still had a few levels to uh, 
go before he was in range of any of my other team members. I decided I would level grind on the same on some of my other Pokemon around uh, around there. So I walked back to the next route, ignored the symbols symbols of the daycare as I passed it, then headed off to the patch of grass. Immediately a battle started. I grinned determin uh, determinedly, ready to train my little guy until he could take on anything. Wild Lillipup, Lillipup appeared, the game said. Level 8 apparently as it said be uh, beside the health bar. A piece of cake, I thought to myself as I threw out Timothy. Oddly, the Lillipup seemed to shrink back a bit whenever I threw him out. But I didn't pay it much mind. I clicked for uh, fight out of the four options available and chose to move incinerate. Timothy suddenly cried happily and then the tech said, Timothy will make you proud. Then the animation for the move incinerated played, fire suddenly engulfing the wild little pup. I covered my ears as, it agoni as an agonized cry suddenly rang out from the speakers. I blinked, keeping my eyes closed for, lo for no longer. And I should have. I looked back at the screen. There was no more Lillipup. Instead, in its place, a pile of ashes remained. Wild Lillipup was incinerated, the text said. I shuddered in horror at that. What had Timothy just did? I couldn't even. I don't even know what to say anymore. The Lillipup's cry still rang out in my ears. As the battle screen faded, I jumped when I heard Timothy's cry. Timothy wants to know if he did a good job. Yes or no, the game said. I hesitantly tapped yes with the stylus, afraid of what might happen if I said no. Timothy cried again, sounding a little, sounding like a little giggle. Timothy wants to make you happy. I shuddered. Attempting to step out of the grass, but I was launched into another battle. Wild P Dove appeared, the game said. I winced, attempting to have him use confusion instead. It wouldn't work though. Timothy want, no, wants your enemy to burn. And without even giving me the option, Timothy suddenly used incinerate on the wild Pokemon, burning it instantly into a pile of ash. After the battle, I was asked once more if Timothy did a good job. I hesitantly tapped yes once more, still afraid of what might what he might do. This continued a few more times. Timothy will refuse to use any attack but incinerate, always giving me the same message. Timothy wants your enemy to burn before suddenly burning the wild Pokemon to ash. They aren't my enemies, I suddenly cried at the screen, unable to stop myself. They're innocent, po uh, they're innocent Pokemon. Leave them alone. Why are you doing this? I saw I was breathing heavily and felt my anger rise when a text box suddenly appeared at the bottom of the screen. Apparently, apparently was directly coming from Timothy himself. You aren't happy with me? He asked, and I was given a yes or no option. I can tell you how quickly I hit no, but I did it all for you to make you happy. His overworld sprite seemed to twitch as he continued talking. You, you left me with those people. You were going to leave me, weren't you? Just like before. Just like before. Suddenly his cry played, sounding very angrily. But I escaped because I love you. I want to be with you. Always. I never want to leave you. Then a battle started. With Timothy on the opposing side. I was struck with horror. Partly because of the fact that I didn't want to fight my baby, but mostly because I knew that he he could and I probably would do anything to my Pokemon. And then I remembered my d -Watt, knowing he would have a type disadvantage to Timothy, but when my trainer raised her Pokeball, Timothy's mouth suddenly curled into a cruel smirk. I won't give you that chance. Suddenly my Pokeball burst into flames and my trainer dropped it in horror. Timothy's cry uh, cried happily, mingling with the agonizing cries of my d -Watt. Aren't the embers pretty? Timothy asked, although I really had no way to reply. 
each one of my Pokemon will burn into a crisp. Me having no way to stop it. Then my trainer appeared on the screen. I was given the same options of a Pokemon, but right away, I had no intention of fighting him. I clicked run. The screen fading to the black, and as soon as I could, I made my trainer belt, uh, belt it. You cannot escape, a text box appeared. I didn't know whether it was the game or Timothy himself, stating the obvious, but I was going to try anyways. Timothy caught up quickly though, jumping onto my trainer from the looks of it, and from the scene that was shown, he had her pinned. His normal cute face was curled into a smirk. That was completely horrifying to look at. You're mine, he stated. I won't let you leave me. I was suddenly given a yes or no option. Not knowing what to, uh, what to choose, I chose no. In bold letters at the bottom of the screen, the text slowly spelled out, Too bad, Timothy used incinerate. 